In the project management world, scheduling projects can be a difficult endeavor with a lot of moving parts. That's why there are several project management methodologies that deal explicitly with project scheduling. Today, we're talking about CPM, or Critical Path Method, and CCPM, or Critical Chain Project Management. These project management methodologies help project managers schedule projects with multiple dependencies and determine the total duration of a project. Let's start by looking at Critical Path Method. Critical Path Method is a resource utilization algorithm for scheduling a set of project activities based on the duration of each task. The length of the project is constrained by a set of dependent tasks, which all need to be completed for the project to finish. The critical path is the longest total time it will take to complete the project, taking into account all included tasks and their associated durations. When scheduling a project using CPM, you'll need to define the project scope, list the activities needed to complete the project, the time that each individual activity will take to complete, the dependencies between the activities, and endpoints or deliverables that will mark the project milestones. Then you can use critical path analysis to determine the longest path of these activities to the end of the project. Scheduling a project with CPM can benefit from a visualization like a Gantt chart. This will allow you to understand when each activity will need to start to keep the project moving forward on schedule. It will also allow you to see which activities have flexibility in their start times based on the interdependencies of what comes before or after those activities. When project activities can be delayed without causing the project to be overdue, CPM refers to this calculated extra time as total float. Let's pretend our project is a group of four people going out to dinner at a restaurant. The group arrives and sits down together, activity one then orders their meal, activity two. Two of the group order pasta, which takes 10 minutes for the chef to cook, activity three. And two of the group order steak, which takes 20 minutes for the chef to cook, activity four. Therefore, eating the meal, activity five, can't be finished by the entire group until all meals have arrived at the table. The longest route from activities one through five is the critical path. The two diners who ordered pasta have total float of 10 minutes, or the amount of time it takes the cook to finish with their colleague's steaks. They have flexibility with regard to when they start eating because such a delay won't delay the dinner ultimately finishing. Since your group is going to the theater at 8 p.m., Critical Path Method will allow you to determine when you'll need to make your restaurant reservation in order for everyone to finish their meal before the show. Critical Path Method therefore allows project managers to schedule projects with multiple activities and determine the duration of the entire project, which tasks have flexibility, and when the project needs to commence in order to meet a deadline. However, CPM assumes that resources for each activity will be adequate and that resource scarcity won't affect the completion of any project activities. Those with experience in project management know that this is rarely the norm, that's where critical chain project management can be applied for a more realistic result. Critical chain project management also uses an algorithm to determine a project's schedule. CCPM is viewed as an upgrade or extension of CPM that takes availability and scarcity of resources into account in addition to task duration and dependency. Those resources can include people, space, and equipment. When scheduling a project using CCPM, the goal is to keep resources leveled. Therefore, activities need to have flexible start times. CCPM is based on several assumptions. The first is that task owners will often overestimate how long an activity will take, leading to wasted time. Secondly, that task owners will procrastinate and delay start time, or finish early and increase the scope. CCPM starts with a CPM analysis of a project scope by looking at the total breakdown of activities needed to complete a project. Tasks are then scheduled based on their durations and dependencies. Next, crash the schedule by removing 50% of the estimated duration of each activity. This time is put into a buffer at the end of the activity sequence. The next step is to resource level each activity based on the space, staff, and equipment available. The goal with CCPM is to devote full resources to each activity, meaning it should stay on track to meet each individual deadline. 
Based on those resource constraints, you will then create a path from beginning to end of the project, known as the critical chain. The deadline will remain the unresource leveled deadline, allowing for flexibility to adjust throughout the project process. Throughout the project, the project manager will monitor the pace of each activity. If an activity is taking longer than the scheduled duration allotted, they can reallocate some of the reserved buffer for those tasks. For this reason, start dates of all activities scheduled with CCPM need to have flexibility to be moved as needed. So when should you choose CPM or CCPM? There are two main considerations you'll need to take into account, flexibility and resource availability. CCPM is a better choice when there is flexibility in the start and or end dates of activities within a project and when there is a guarantee of resources, be that staff, equipment, or space. CCPM is not a good choice for projects with short deadlines, since CCPM requires that time is added to the schedule. CPM, on the other hand, is better for projects with short deadlines because it relies on more rigid scheduling and assumes resources will be available. However, that means CPM can sometimes result in overly optimistic planning. Both CPM and CCPM are project scheduling methods that will help increase the likelihood that your projects are delivered on time. Now that you know the basics of each method, you can choose which one will work best for you. Because project scheduling with CPM and CCPM requires fitting in many project activities, using software to help visualize project schedules is important. Rike project management software offers user-friendly Gantt charts that can help project managers schedule complex projects, assign resources, and adjust timelines with just a few clicks. Want to try out Rike's project scheduling software for yourself? Start a free two-week trial today.